I'm Bill Hand with your daily New Bern Sun Journal coronavirus update. As of noon Sunday, the total coronavirus cases in Craven County rose by 1 to 15. Five of those individuals have recovered, however, and they're no longer in isolation. They've been free of symptoms for at least 72 hours. The Craven County Health Department points out that many people with COVID-19 will not be included in the daily counts of laboratory-confirmed cases, including those who had minimal or no symptoms and were not tested and those who did not seek any medical care. Take a deep breath and be prepared, according to President Trump and Surgeon General Jerome Adams, who is calling up this next week our Pearl Harbor moment. This week we'll see a rise and possibly the peak of coronavirus cases and deaths. In England, Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been hospitalized for worsening symptoms. In America, the death rate continues as a rule to climb. In Italy, Pope Francis celebrated Palm Sunday Mass in an empty St. Peter's Basilica. But the Surgeon General says things should soon improve. Spain and Italy are seeing a slowdown in cases, and America should be right behind them. Also, New York has experienced its first drop in cases. As hard as this week is going to be, Adams said, there is a light at the end of the tunnel if everyone does their part for the next 30 days. Panic buying is causing problems for diabetes patients, not because of a lack of toilet paper, but because uh, rubbing alcohol is also disappearing from the shelves. The product is necessary to manage their disease, and diabetics are among those at high risk for COVID-19. We're all supposed to be staying at home, Carolyn Gregory of Fayetteville said, and I'm going to 10 different stores. That is also not safe. Finally, calling this Bill Hand, yes, and that is me, reminds you to keep things in perspective. There's bad news, sure, but there's good news as well, he suggests. In 1918, we had the Spanish flu that killed off 13,000 people in North Carolina alone. And yet, when it was over, America moved right into the high times of the Roaring Twenties. Eventually, we're going to return to work. We're going to clog the restaurants and movie theaters, and we're going to stand in lines at the hairdresser that are longer than the ladies' room line at intermission at a popular show. Like anything that doesn't kill you, we're going to be stronger. We're going to be just fine. I'm Bill Hand, and this has been your coronavirus update for April 6, 2020 with the New Bern Sun Journal. Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.